Hi YouTubers, today I want to show you how to quickly uh, unseat the bead from a large tire. I've seen a bunch of different people doing this on the internet and I found that probably the most efficient and fastest way to do it is to use a bead breaker hammer. But since I'm only do doing a few tires on my own, I don't feel like investing that much money into it because it would cost $80 for a tool that I would rarely use. So what I'm going to do is show you how to do this with just simple tools that you probably already have laying around your garage. So here's what we're going to need. We have our standard floor jack, just a regular thing that uh, you're using to jack up your car all the time when you're working on it. Then we also have a ratchet tie-down strap. And then of course uh, this is our valve core removal tool. So first let's start with removing the valve core so we can get all the air out of the tire. Here's my strategy. I'm going to use the lifting saddle of the jack to push up against the sidewall of the tire. What I want to do is push right against the edge right here but not get it onto any part of your aluminum wheel. So uh, the tricky thing is to get this thing positioned right and also have it held down against the jack so it doesn't move very much while I'm doing this. That's where the, the uh, tie down straps will come in handy. So first I'm going to uh, lift up the saddle just a little bit so I can get a better idea about where I'm positioning this. I'm going to put my tie down straps onto the axle of the uh, jack and I'm going to lift the tire on here. Okay, let's take a look underneath here with the camera. Can we see where the uh, where the saddle is positioned. You want the saddle to be on the rubber but not on your aluminum wheel right here. I'm doing this kind of by feel. Here's the saddle of the jack right here and here's the rubber part and just enough rubber between there and the aluminum wheel so that way my saddle can push up but it's not going to be pushing on the wheel. Now I'm going to thread this tie down strap through the slots of my wheel. And this part of the tie down strap is going to go under the jack. You can see it's going to go under the jack frame right there. And run it through my ratchet. Yeah, I'm going to tighten this up a bit. I'm going to go ahead and let the jack back down a little bit. I want to check over here just by feeling, make sure the tire's on the saddle, that the aluminum wheel is not. There we go. And we'll just jack it up. You can hear that tire squeaking and groaning as we're jacking it up. I'm trying to get it off the beat here. And after it squeaks and groans enough, you can look under here. And there we go. We've got it off the bead. Now, uh, 
that did come off pretty easy I have to admit that I just changed this tire about two weeks ago so it wasn't glued on really really tightly like the previous one was but this is the same technique that I used two weeks ago to get it off so hope this saves you a lot of time and trouble and um, let me know what you think <laughs>